out with my life now. We have fun. Do you, do you have a girlfriend, sir? You do. Is she older than you? 31, and you're what, 15, 17? It works out perfectly. You're just here to let your fluids build back up. Yeah. That's a good deal. You know why? Because when women get older, we get less crazy. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, you with the long hair back there, raise your hand. I love everything about you. You are clueless. You can see. I'm going to give you some clues. What's your name, long hair? Jason. Listen up right now. You have a woman in your life? She's crazy. You know why? Because she reads magazines. She reads Jane and Mary Claire and Cosmo and Allure. Yeah, he's like, oh my God. Yes, I know. Anything with a Kardashian on the cover is gonna fuck up your life, Jason. He snatched that shit right out of her hand. It's true. It's bullshit. Those magazines freak you out. The bedroom trick that drives them wild. They've been selling these things for 40 years. 40 years. Cosmo magazine. Every cover. How to get a man. What to do with him when you have him. How to get rid of him when you're done. Every month. Every month. 40 years. Month after month. The bedroom trick that drives him wild. You know the bedroom trick that drives him wild, Jason? Show up. That's the trick. It's true. She's been showing up for 53 years. Look at this guy. 54. He's count. How often do you know a man that knows how long he's been married in the anniversary? He's like, 54. We don't do it often, but when we do, it's good. <laughs> we get biscuits when we're done. <laughs> She's hitting him. He didn't even say anything. She's hitting him. You're telegraphing that I'm horny. It's OK. It doesn't matter. Isn't it good? Isn't it good now that you're older? You don't give a damn. Yeah, because when you're young, you worry. Young women, Jason, are all about validation, approval, support. Look at me, approving me. Am I pretty enough? That's what they're like. When you're older, self-confidence is more rare than physical beauty. You know why my dude's into me? Because I walk up to him on Fridays, and I just say, baby, do me any way you want. When you're done, squeegee me and bring me a jelly donut, like that. <laughs> That's good times. That's good times. That's right, Jason. And you learn how to talk to a man when you get older. When you're younger, when you're younger, you just want to control and manipulate a man. That's what young women want to do, because we're small physically. So we try to control mentally what we cannot control physically. That's why women constantly manipulate and nag at men. I read in a magazine article, women nag at men because unconsciously they feel that the man is a reflection of them. It's a reflection. They nag at you because when you're out in public, they think someone's going to say, like, how the hell did Jane let Jason go out with that long, greasy hair like that? <laughs> it's true. You're fine. Your lady needs to leave you alone. If you have time to nag at a man, you have time to shag a man, all right? <laughs> and that's how you motivate. This guy was like, yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to repeat that, sir? You love that? I'm going to repeat that. If you have time to boss and manipulate a man, let me explain something to you. Men are rebellious by nature. The more you nag at them, the less they're going to want to do that. They're rebellious. They're overgrown children. Look, this guy's nodding. Yes, 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 Monique. What's your name, sweetheart? OK, if I say something wrong, you correct me, OK? Listen up, gorgeous. What's your name? Veronica. Veronica. I can see you're bossy, all right? I can spot it. Listen to me, Veronica. This is you. I'm telling you right now, clean the garage. I mean it. Clean the garage. She's laughing. Oh my gosh, she's psychic. <laughs> clean the garage. Clean the garage. That's not how you get a man. That's not how you communicate. You want to have a clean garage? Lean over to him and smile and go, I'll blow you if. <laughs> would you like that? He doesn't. Would you like that, sir? Sure you would. And while you're at it, throw in a bunny rub, OK? Don't be lazy. <laughs> it's morally reprehensible to use sex to manipulate a man. However, however, there is nothing wrong with positive bunny reinforcement. <laughs> if a man does something you like, let him know. That's how they want you to reward them. They like that, because they're sensitive balls. <laughs> Get in there like you mean it. Change the wrinkle pattern, sister. Yeah. I can see you guys have a good sex life. I'm going to get back to you some more, because you know what? You give me hope. You make me super happy. No, you really do. Me and my young dude, we're happy. We're going to go the distance. 
We are. I'm doing everything to stay young. I'm working out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working out. Because the truth is, when you fall in love with another person, you're actually falling in love with yourself, you know? That's why that person does it for you, because they bring out the best in you. They want you to take care of yourself. I eat healthier, you know, I, I, I take shots in the face. That, uh, that used to have a whole different meaning 10 years ago. I, uh, that's, uh, I lost you, animal print. <laughs> yeah. That, that means Botox, ma'am. I'm not doing anything nasty. You know? I, uh, yeah. But you do, you give me hope. I think this is gonna be it. I think we're gonna go the distance. And, 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 and you young people, see, when you're really young in your 20s and you look at your parents, you're thinking like, oh my God, they're like, let me tell you something. God's gonna play a trick on you. Jason, you're never gonna think you're old. Ever, ever, at any time will you think you're old. 85-year-old people watch the Today Show to see who Willard Scott is wishing a happy birthday. They're like, you see that 102-year-old bitch in Selma? Oh, that's an old lady. That woman in Alabama, that's an old lady. Me, I'm 85, I'm still kicking ass. Me, Hugh Hefner, same age, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, your parents call you and say, Jason, let us know when you're coming home. They don't care where you are. They don't care if you're drinking or what you're, they don't care. They just don't do it as often and they don't want you walking in on them, all right, Jason? <laughs> Paints a picture, don't it, Jason? sexually active. My dad was unbelievable. Such a womanizer. So embarrassing. I remember my stepmother called me one night in the middle of the night. High-pitched squeal. Very angry because she caught my dad. She snuck up behind him in stocking feet and caught my dad. I don't want to be rude, but he was uh, pleasuring himself in front of the computer. You know, you know what I mean, right, Jason? Roughing up the suspect. It's so funny. Guys talk about these things and they make jokes about it. They all have names for it. beating the bishop, shaking the bacon, punching the munchkin, tending to the swinging sirloin, shucking bubba, shaking hands with the unemployed. <laughs> it's a big game for dudes. And no matter how many I say, a guy will come up to me and tell me another one. Because you guys are playful with that business. You never hear a woman say, yeah, I got bored. I figured I'd just sit around and stroke the roadkill. You don't see that. <laughs> We're so cryptic and shy. When you get older, you get braver, but, but young women are so weird about that sort of stuff. So my stepmother calls me in the middle of the night screaming because she catches my dad looking at something nasty on the internet. And, you know, and I was, what do you say to her? But then there's a part of me thinking, that blood is in my veins. That's good times right there. <laughs> That's excellent, because my mom's not like that. My mom's Hispanic and Catholic and lives in denial, even when her husband was obviously gay. My mother's like, he's having a gay situation. She's having a, that's what she said. How do you, Mija, how do you turn gay? I'm like, Mom, you don't turn gay. It's not like real estate. Like, it used to be a Whole Foods. Now it's a homo. It's not like that. <laughs> She's so polite and in denial. She won't come to a show like this. My mom sees me like this through her fingers like that when she watches me. She's like, why do you have to talk like that, Mija? Why? She just freaks out. Are you wearing chonies? She worries all the time. She worries all the time. I'm going to be in a car wreck. I don't have the heart to tell her I don't wear them. I wear tight dresses. I can't wear Tony's, they'll show. I keep a pair in my glove compartment. <laughs> if I'm ever in a car wreck, I'll throw them out in the grass. Mommy, I had them on. But the car hit so hard, they flew off on impact. <laughs> it's true, that's why I got married the first time. I didn't want to disappoint my mom, and I was having premarital sex with my high school sweetheart, and I was embarrassed. And that's so weird, because all these years later, now that I'm single, I mean, I have a boyfriend, but you know, I'm not married. My mother tells me, Mija, if you were just to turn up pregnant, you know, just turn up. Like I fell asleep in the garden department of Home Depot. <laughs> Someone stuck a bulb in there or something, you know? <laughs> men love women different than women love men. When a man loves a woman, he loves you of a piece. It's a, it's, he can't explain it. It's a lower chakra dog sniffing chemical thing that grabs them by the short hairs and renders them retarded. When a man, <laughs> when a man loves you, he can't even tell you why. His best friend will call him on the phone and go, that's a bad woman. Every man in this room, I'm gonna look right at you because your friends hang with strippers and don't tell me no, okay? <laughs> What's your name, beard boy? Huh? Mike, how are you, baby? Good, have you ever had a friend fall in love with a completely inappropriate and heinous, horrible woman? And there wasn't a damn thing you could do, huh? Now you just had to sit there with a bottle of Jack and some Band-Aids. <laughs> Vodka, that's right call him up on the phone. Dude, she's a bipolar stripper, raging alcoholic with a giant cold sore and a little kid. It's like, I gotta go, Mike. I'm watching the kid right now. I'm, uh, she's working. She's spinning on the pole right now. I, uh, I'll get, right? 
When a man loves a woman, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. It's of a piece. They want to protect you. They can't explain it. They just want you in their cave. And I was fortunate enough that my guy, really, he picked me. That's what I say. He's a cougar slayer. I didn't, I didn't stalk and pick him. He picked me. Because, ladies, this sounds kind of old-fashioned, but in order for a relationship to work, the man must choose the woman. If you want it to go long-term, if you want a man to be a man, you got to let the man pick you, you in the plaid shirt. You're a young man, very young, totally young. Uh, you, you got hair and everything, right? You're like, I don't want to freak you out and wreck your puberty or anything. You're all good, right? Well, as young as you are, as young as you are, is that your girlfriend? I can tell, because you're all manly. Even though you're a young little dude, you're holding her hand, you're possessive, you've got that manly pose. I'm a man. I got eight hairs, but they're manly. <laughs> they're manly hairs, and I'm drinking milk. So, I, uh, yeah, you picked her, didn't you? Because any woman can get any man she sets her heart to, because men are lazy. <laughs> it's true. If you stalk a man, if you want to, this is wrong, and I shouldn't tell you this, but it's not like it's nothing I haven't done when I was younger. <laughs> if you want to get a guy, all you got to do is let him move in with you, because they are lazy. And all you have to do is tell them, okay, if we're not getting married, you're going to have to move. A man will rather marry you than move his shit. <laughs> and it's wrong. Because if you had to talk a man into you, you will spend the rest of your life talking him into you. It doesn't work that way. When a man picks you, he loves you, he wants you. And don't whine your way out of number one. That's what women do. They whine their way. The guy wants you, and, and he's bought you, and you give him all the reasons why he should take you back. You know, men don't do that. Men do not apologize for themselves. You tell the woman, you look fabulous today. I should have gotten a pedicure. <laughs> He's not even looking at your feet. He's not even looking at your head. He's looking right around this region, right here, okay? <laughs> you never see a guy standing there in his underpants going, I really should work out more, really. My tidy whities are extra tidy and not so whitey. No, they don't do that. <laughs> <laughs>